Hi team, so today I'm going to show you how you can tweak the Kanban board that you use in Azure DevOps board to track your user story, right? So maybe you use the one of the system processes and then you want to change the layout of the Kanban board, add a bit of coloring, add a bit on some tags, change the columns and how they display on the board and so forth. So let me show you how to do that. So if you open Azure DevOps boards and open an existing project and then you navigate to your boards and you go to a Kanban board, you will typically see a Kanban board with some columns, right? So the first thing is that if you have changed the states of your user stories, you might get an error message here. Um, or if you want to change the states and map it to a specific column, um, you will have to add an additional column to an existing state, for example. So let's say you have new in analysis in dev in test close, but if I open a user story, I'm actually missing the in UAT, for example. So if you added that, or if you change the states of your user story, don't forget to go into the board and add an additional column. So how to do that? You would go here and you will have to manually add in UAT, for example, and map it to the user story state, right? And then you can move it effectively to the correct place on the board. So if I do this, now I can move my user story to the in UAT and it will auto automatically map it to the in UAT state, right? So that's one thing. You can also um, split each of those columns into two sub columns in doing and done. So let me show you, let's say, if we wanted to split in analysis in doing done, in dev in doing done, in test same. So I would go there to the settings, columns, and any of those. Um, so if it's new and closed, you cannot split them because it's out of new and it's outside of in the in progress state or closed, it's closed. But anything that is in between, you can split in doing and done. So if I go in analysis, I split it. In dev, I split it. In test, I split it. And in UAT, I split it. If I do this, you will see additional sub columns being created for me. And the purpose really of this is to say a new user story is being now moved to in analysis. Someone is working on that story, which is in, in analysis. Once the analysis is finished, it's moved to done. Then the dev team will come, start working on, on it. Once the dev team has finished, it goes to, to done. And then you have your test team that will pick up the story and start testing and then moving to done and so forth. You don't have to have doing and done for every single state, but that, if that fits your process, and it often does for me, then I, would, I often split my states especially the analysis in dev, in test, and UAT in doing and done. Another tip that I found useful is add additional information on those cards. So for example, I want to see what is the parent, for example, or when one that was that card modified. So you can easily do that by tweaking again the layout of those um, user stories. So you would have to go to under the cards to fields and here you can effectively decide what fields do you want to display on those cards. So you can see additional fields priority. By default, it will show the assigned to, the ID, and any tags that you have. You can un untick those, but you can add additional fields. So I want to add here, for example, the change date, and I want to add, and those are two that are often add just for clarity. And I want to add the parent because I want to see the feature uh where that that user story is related to so you can now see the feature the parent feature and when that user story was effectively changed another tip is that you can add some more coloring to make those boards a bit more visual so for example you could say any of the user stories here um, on the board, um, I want to make the ones that are in priority one stand out, right? So what you can do is effectively again go to, and then we go and then go to styles, and you will have to add a styling where you enter the name P1 whatever, and then you put for example a color, and the field is now you decide the rules for your priority one equals one and then effectively you will now see those display in in green you can use this for anything i use this on project to display for example fields assigned to specific persons 
or if they are actually blocked or so you can use this in, in, ver in a variety of, of um, situation and use cases. You can also add colors based on um, the tags or you can even add specific colors for the tags. So you can also say needs review maybe needs to be yellow, right? So you can go to your tag colors and needs review i'll actually activate this one activate this one some more are created already here and if i just switch them on you can see that the tags are now um, have some more color uh, coloring on them and another item here that you can tweak is effectively you could um in swim lanes add an additional swim lanes maybe for your p1s so if we say priority one and the color is actually red and you have to add a criteria and again this is your p1 priority equals one so once you do that you will see an additional kind of swim lane with all the user story that are in priority one so that you can kind of easily focus on those user story as a priority and then you go look at the other user stories Voila, I hope that you liked this video and if that's the case, give me a thumbs up and don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel. I'll be doing more videos about Azure DevOps boards and hope to see you in the next one. Bye.